Hey guys, Jake with 8020 Media here. Today we're doing a video on GM's 5.3 liter V8 versus the 3.0 Duramax as found in the popular Silverado and Sierra 1500 half ton trucks. When you look at building a new Silverado or Sierra, there are a lot of engine options nowadays. The base option is a 2.7 liter turbo engine, but there is also upgrade options for the 4.3 liter Ecotec, the 5.3 liter Ecotec, the 3.0 Duramax, and the 6.2 Ecotec. Two of the more popular upgrades are either the 5.3 liter V8 or the 3.0 Duramax. So this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about those two engines with respect to performance, towing capacity, reliability, and gas mileage. So starting off from a price point perspective, the 3.0 Duramax is about $2,500 over the 2.7 liter turbo. It does vary depending on model, but generally speaking, it's about 2,500, whereas the 5.3 liter is about an $1,800 upgrade. So looking at them from a price perspective, they're relatively similar, which might have you wondering which one of the two you should choose. So jumping into performance, the 3.0 Duramax up until 2023 has produced 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. That was under the LM2 engine designation. However, for 2023, they went ahead and redesigned the engine and it now produces 305 horsepower and 495 feet pounds of torque. Now, the 3.0 was only released in 2019 and up, and so for the 5.3, we're also gonna be talking mostly about 2019 and newer specs, fuel economy, and towing capacity as well. So the 5.3 produces 335 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, and that has remained the same every year since 2019. The Duramax has a torque advantage, producing either 460 or 495 compared to 383 on the V8. In addition to just having more torque, it's gonna to have more low end torque that you typically see out of a diesel. However, it does lose the horsepower battle and both versions of the 3.0 Duramax have less horsepower. Now, when it comes to performance modifications and upgrades, the 3.0 Duramax takes the cake from that perspective just because it is a turbo diesel. It's a little bit more easily modified compared to the V8, simply throwing bolt-ons on like an intake, a tuner, and an exhaust system are gonna get you a lot more power gains versus putting those same modifications onto a gas engine. From a performance perspective, the 3.0 Duramax does have more torque slightly less horsepower, but it is also a little bit more power capable from simple bolt-on modifications than the V8 engine is. With respect to performance, we're kind of gonna consider this a toss-up because of the next section that we're gonna get into, which is towing. So up until 2022, despite having a lot more torque than the V8, the 3.0 Duramax actually towed a lot less than the V8 option did. The max towing capacity was 9,500 pounds compared to 11,600 pounds for the 5.3 liter. Despite having nearly 100 more torque, it actually had about 2,000 pounds less of towing capacity. For 2022 upwards, the 3.0 Duramax does have the upper hand from a towing perspective as it got an upgrade to 13,300 pounds as the max towing capacity which actually ties it with the 6.2 liter V8. Towing capacity obviously varies depending on the trim as well as the additional upgrades. Also, I wanna note that the max towing capacities really vary depending on where you look at them. My numbers might be slightly off. I've seen the max anywhere from 11,300 to 11,600 for the Ecotec, but Generally speaking, the 5.3 has the upper hand from a towing perspective up until 2022. And then from 2022 onwards, the 3.0 Duramax is going to be the winner when we talk about max towing capacity. Moving on to reliability, 
the LM2 version of the 3.0 Duramax was a little bit challenging from both a reliability as well as a serviceability perspective. We touched on this in our 3.0 Duramax Common Problems video, which we'll go ahead and link in the description, but basically it had a rear-mounted oiling system and a rear-mounted timing chain, which makes maintenance on them a lot more expensive and a little bit more difficult than on the V8 engine, which has front-mounted components for all of that. Now, the LZ0, which is the new 3.0 Duramax for 2023, was completely redesigned. Regardless of the serviceability challenges with the 3.0 Duramax, it has had its fair share of problems, namely with various emissions components, as well as with the fueling system. The high pressure fuel pump and the injectors are known to have problems in addition to problems with the EGR system, the EGR cooler, the DPF system, and the other emissions components, which is completely normal when you look at the larger diesels of today, as well as the other kind of half size diesels that were being produced by Dodge and Ford. However, those two companies have both discontinued their mini diesels as of 2023. The 5.3 Ecotec does have some similar fueling issues Fuel pump failure as well as injector failure are two kind of common problems. However, with the Ecotec engines, the most problematic system, in my opinion, is with active fuel management. However, active fuel management became an option that you could either add or take off as of 2021. And a lot of the 2021 plus models do not have active fuel management, which gives this engine a big reliability upgrade, in my opinion. Without AFM, the 5.3 liter is the clear winner from a reliability perspective. The 3.0 Duramax just has too many issues with emission systems and the serviceability challenges make it a lot more expensive from a cost of ownership as well as from a maintenance perspective compared to the 5.3 V8. Moving on to the last topic of gas mileage, perhaps the biggest benefit to the 3.0 Duramax is the gas mileage. It gets 23 miles per gallon in the city and 33 on the highway for a combined 27 and a half, whereas the 5.3 gets 16 and 22 for a combined 19 miles per gallon. So if we assume that you drive 50-50 city and highway, I went ahead and did a little bit of a comparison to see gas cost of driving both of these engines. And so I looked at if you drive a thousand miles on the Duramax versus a thousand miles on the V8, the cost for a thousand miles of gas for the Duramax is $167 and the V8 is $188. Now this is obviously dependent upon gas prices in your area, but the reason that the difference isn't as big as you would probably think that it is, is because the Duramax obviously uses diesel fuel and diesel fuel right now, at least in my area, is about a dollar more expensive than the regular 85 or 87 octane. And so while you do get better gas mileage, you're having to put more expensive gas into the car. So the gas mileage benefits aren't as great as you would expect. So that wraps up our four main topics. Just to recap quickly, from a performance perspective, the 3.0 Duramax does have more torque. It has slightly less horsepower, but it has in the newer versions over 100 extra torque and a little bit over 80 extra torque in the previous models. So it does win from a performance perspective, especially when we factor in the ability to modify them to get additional power through things like tuners, intakes, and exhaust. Additionally, one thing that I didn't touch on is that there are some tuners out there that claim that you can get a combined 30 miles per gallon by using their tuner on the 3.0 Duramax, which obviously adds some pretty decent gas mileage savings, but you can probably also put a tuner and an intake and a couple other things onto the 5.3 V8 and see a, you know, two to three mile per gallon increase as well. Towing wise, the 5.3 V8 wins up until 2022 when the Duramax got an increase to 13,300 pounds. So 2022 onwards from a towing perspective, the 3.0 Duramax wins. Reliability wise, it's gonna be the 5.3 V8 all day. The Duramax just has too many issues with emissions components, as well as some other major engine components that the V8 just doesn't have problems with. Especially now that you can get the 5.3 without active fuel management, it's honestly not a competition from a reliability perspective. And then from gas mileage, the 3.0 Duramax is the clear winner, but it takes diesel fuel, which is a little bit more expensive. And so that really negates a large part of the benefit that you get from having better gas mileage. 
So at the end of the day, it really depends on what you're looking for, what you're planning on using your truck for, how much towing you need to do, how heavy you tow, and how frequently you tow. And in addition to that, it probably also depends whether you are a diesel guy or a traditional V8 guy. You know, the V8 engines are a lot more simplistic in the sense that they don't have a turbocharger. They don't have all of the ludicrous emissions equipment that these diesel engines do, which is part of the reason why from a reliability perspective, I'd take the 5.3 V8 all day. In my opinion, if I were gonna get a diesel, I'm gonna go ahead and get the 6.6 Duramax. So the 3.0 Duramax just doesn't really have a whole lot of appeal in my opinion, in the sense that you can get a gas V8, especially if you look at the 6.2 liter that tows just as much as the Duramax does. That wraps up everything that we have here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. It would mean a lot if you'd go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video and stay tuned for further content. Thanks guys.